Making of the Indian Constitution and its ideological basis The Constitution of India was enacted by a constituent assembly set up under the Cabinet Mission Plan in 1946. The first meeting of the constituent assembly was held on the 9th of December. It worked through various subcommittees and after due deliberation on the recommendations of the committees it adopted the constitution on the 26th of November 1949. The constitution came into force on the 26th of January 1950. The framers of the constitution freely borrowed from the constitutions of several other countries and made necessary modifications keeping in view the requirements of the country. Thus they borrowed parliamentary system, the rule of law, the privileges of members of parliament etc from Britain. They borrowed preamble, fundamental rights, federal judiciary etc, from USA. Provisions regarding Rajya Sabha and amendment of constitution from South Africa. Federal system bore the impact of Canadian constitution. The emergency provisions were taken from the Weimar constitution of Germany. Directive principles of state policy and nomination of members to Rajya Sabha from Free Lirish Republic. But probably the greatest influence was exerted by the Government of India Act 1935. As regards the ideology of the Indian constitution, two alternatives were considered by the members of the Constituent Assembly. First some members favoured an indigenous constitution based on village panchayats and the Euro-American constitutional system directly elected by the people. Ultimately the members decided in favour of centralised parliamentary constitution. At the same time some members were firmly committed to socialism for the economic betterment of the people. In short the members tried to provide a democratic constitution with a socialist bias. The conditions prevailing at the time of the enactment of the constitution also greatly influenced the decisions of the framers of the constitution. In short it can be said that the framers of the constitution did not produce any original constitution. They only provided a good and workable constitution. The constitution starts with a preamble, which outlines the main objectives of the constitution. The preamble declares India a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic which seeks to secure to its citizens justice, equality and seeks to promote among them a fraternity assuring dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation. The main features of the Indian constitution are its written character, combination of rigidity and flexibility, parliamentary system of government, blending of federal and unitary features, secular character of Indian state, incorporation of fundamental rights, directive principles of state policy, fundamental duties, independent judiciary, universal adult franchise, single citizenship, special provision for backward classes, bicameral legislature, emergency provisions etc.